My husband suddenly died in February of 2021. I was married 50 years and he was my best friend. My mother was very healthy at the time. She was playing tennis daily and adjusting to the new norm. And she went into her cardiologist for her five-year check and they saw a little blip they didn't like on the stress test. They thought she would have to go in and have an angiogram and likely end up with a stent or two and be fine. That night we went to dinner at the club with about eight of her friends. And in the middle of dinner, she had eight mini strokes at the table. In December, we went in to have bypass surgery in Florida. We did the surgery and things didn't go so well. The next day, I had a heart attack. There was no one person really taking control of the situation and mom was just getting sicker and sicker. You know, I never realized it until it was just told to me, you gotta do something and fast. Her internist said to me, your mother's dying, she has a few days to a few weeks left to live. And I said, there has to be an option here. There's always an option. So he made lots of calls in Florida and uh, nobody was able to see me for months. I wouldn't have lived that long. So I called my Hail Mary call to one of my longest term friends, Judith Heller, and she said, get your mother on a plane and come to North Shore University Hospital immediately. This was on a Tuesday. On Wednesday, I was on a plane, and Thursday, I met Dr. Shaw. Adam had sent him 1,700 pages of my medical history. He read it all. He knew all about me. He says, the LVAD should do it. We had never heard of this device. It was never offered to us in Florida as an option. And this device right here, my mom carries it around with her all the time, and it's essentially an external heart pump. Dr. Khan came in every single day. Not only is he a great surgeon, he talks to his patients on their level. Every day he met with a whole staff of people outside my door, and they made decisions about my health. I felt like there I was a whole person. I mean, the care was incredible. I didn't have that in Florida. Navigating the health system in Florida versus New York, especially at Northwell and the system of hospitals they run, is drastically different. I'm grateful that my mom is here. You know, uh, <laughs> some days. <laughs> some, most days. Okay. You know, I wasn't ready to lose two parents in in a year and a half. That was a little much for me, and. Um, you know, my mom's definitely a fighter, and she was given the ammunition she needed to fight at North Shore University Hospital. So, you know, That's here we correct. are. It's a modified lifestyle, but mom said she wanted three things. One was she wanted to be able to drive. She's still driving. Mm -hmm. One was she wanted to be able to see her grandkids. She's still seeing her grandkids. And the third was she was, wanted to play tennis. Hasn't happened yet, but it We're may. working on it. It may, and it's something to fight for. Thank you for being so supportive. Thank you for being there. Thank you for my life. <laughs>